Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 91. Happy New Year. And we're, con we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We finally, finally got the Mandalorians, uh, the Mandalore in particular, to uh, give us a lift up to Onderon. He is tagging along. Uh, for reasons the character isn't entirely aware of, we happen to see a cutscene where uh, Mira had a rather interesting conversation with him. That might bear watching again just to see what is going on. Um, you'll notice I did a couple of minor re-equipping. I, I ended up giving giving Baradur that Gamoran axe. Uh, the minus two to attack is a little rough, but his attack was a plus 25 in the first place. So changing a plus 25 to a plus 23, I, I can, okay, okay. I, I might I might let that slide. No, I still feel kind of cranky about it, but the damage it does. I mean, come on, let, let's stop for a second. Um, hello, Beach Duck. That, that damage went... Uh, <laughs> From 1 to 15 to 2 to 24. And with all his bonuses, that means his damage is in the 5 to 27 range. Uh, so, a slight decrease in his ability to hit for a lot more damage. And a couple other bonuses, too. Um, like, there's a chance to stun whoever he hits for 6 seconds. Now, I... I would like a little more than that, but uh, I'll take what I can get. At least until I can get him something better. I haven't exactly gone around and improved everybody's... Uh, uh, not everybody's melee options yet. Last time I, I spent some quality time at the crafting bench was to work on armor. My next go-round will be to work on weapons. So uh, let's, let's head into the... Uh, I, I keep wanting to call it Izzes. I know that's not right. But let's head into the uh, spaceport and see what we can see. Because I believe... It's yep. been a while since you've docked here, eh? Huh. I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, thanks. It must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Uh... Okay, I like that first option. Say what? Uh... <laughs> There's a lockdown. Let's go with any news on the blockade. Let, let's pretend like we know what he's talking about. Nothing could possibly go wrong with that, right? All right. Nothing new. Our space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Oh, Tensions yeah, that space high. battle. It's All a shame. vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots gray before their time. <laughs> and ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly if I were you, friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so nope. the inspection's nope. just a formality. Here's your starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. Uh, priceless, you say? Priceless, you say? As a man who could use a couple of credits himself. Um, hmm, priceless? Why? If you want to leave the planet, you need a starport visa. They're uh, very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. Okay. Uh, so how's the situation here? There's strict food and water rationing. And General Vaclu's troops have been very thorough in finding Republic yep. dissidents. Thorough. Bombing's very common. Okay. Um... Yeah, now I go now? Certainly. Okay. Mind what I said about the starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the starport. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wasn't that nice? All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a quick loop of everybody and everything, starting with uh, random citizen we number twelve. Oh no. Okay. Forget there we go. That's what I really wanted was the news hologram, but I'm distracted by the shiny. So, is there anything I can do with this land speeder here? No. Oh. What a tease. Alright. Let's grab the news hologram real quick. In the latest news today, the Onderan Space Force has confirmed that a Republic military craft initiated the space battle over our planet. 
Wait a second. Um. Wait a second. I seem to remember that experience a little differently. I bet they are. But I've already solved it. Is there anything else that's new? One of the greatest mysteries in recent memory is the dissolution of the Jedi Order. Today, yeah, I don't think that's such a mystery. Have released a declassified report that sheds new light oh, no. into this mystery. It is public knowledge that the Jedi Order suffered extreme casualties during the Jedi Civil War, but the new intelligence report indicates evidence uh -oh. of even greater casualties. So news is getting out. Murders, accidents, and the Mira Luka tragedy had a profound impact the on the Jedi. Mira Luka tragedy. The report claims that there are even hmm. bounties on the Oh, that's right, that's right, when they all went and met and got assassinated. Yes, a meeting of a bunch of Jedi mysteriously all got murdered at the same time, coincidentally. Not a conspiracy. Totally a coincidence. Totally. We promise. We're the news. You can trust us. Oh. In the Royal Palace has been increased to I think she's the one that we saw talking to the Jedi at when we first arrived up here in the last episode. Many citizens have criticized Queen Talia's absence I bet they have. Time. Citizens. Criticizing a... Never mind. Never mind. In the latest news today, the Onderan Space Force has confirmed that a Republic military craft initiated the space battle over oh. our planet. Okay, now we're back to the beginning. All right, we'll skip that. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a lovely bit of news there. That space battle has caused hell with our schedules. Our quotas for shipments are going to be oh, late I again. I bet it has. General Vac blew his royalty too. I know a lot of people that wish he was king. I bet they do. I think Vac was using Republic spies as an excuse to intimidate anybody that would oppose him. I bet. I heard the Paragas mining facility was completely destroyed. What are we going to do for fuel? Uh, use the trade routes that I set up. Duh. Hello, soldier. General Vaku was oh. an underground resistance leader during the Mandalorian occupation. He's a real hero. I bet he is. He's a real hero. And a gentleman to boot. <laughs> you, come here. You're weak and scrawny without my powerful weapons and defenses. Special sale, just for you. Well, that sure is a, uh... Alright, I don't need your junk to make me strong Cretan. Nothing you have interest me. Uh oh. An Aquilash merchant shouldn't be shouldn't she be roughing up some bith for a few credits? Nah, let's let's start pumping him for information and then we'll see what he's got for sale. What do you know about Jesus? Hello, Rest. Everything turning to soil heap here. Military's very bad. Oh. I kind of wish they'd go ahead and, like, read these out, but whatever. <laughs> How can you stop bad people without repeating blasters and energy shields? With a lightsaber? Okay. Uh, what do you know about the Queen and Gener General Vakalu? We can tell you, some say is weak, others say is not. She wants to stay with the Republic. The General is her cousin, a powerful man. He thinks the Republic is trouble. Republic brings great miseries to his peoples, but Vaclu is more evil because he won't let me sell my goods in the city. Okay. Um, well, the only other option I see here that's actually worth pursuing is what do you have for sale? Things not allowed inside the city. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Uh, all right, let's see what you got in stock. Ooh, a gray Jedi robe. Hmm, that might actually... Oh, you know what? I forgot to write down everybody's armor. I started I started that project and never got around to finishing it. That's the problem. I might have to visit this guy in between uh, live streams because some of the some of these look like they could be worth uh, spending some money, like a crystal that increases the damage in a lightsaber. And yeah, that is a long list, uh, but I mean. It's only a couple of armor items, like uh, powered battle armor. That's not going to help anybody, because the only people with heavy armor proficiency already have something that has a better defense bonus than 9. So, while it gives a strength boost to 1, eh, that, that's not worth uh, a drop in defense. Um, with the Sinigar War Suit, that's not really worth it either. Because everybody who's using medium armor has something with a better defense bonus than 7. So unless I want to use one of the two upgrade slots to bump up the defense bonus to the 8 that they're getting right now, uh, and damage resistance versus Sonic is... that's not the most useful damage resistance I can get a hold of. The only one that's really making me, me sit here and go, hmm, is this Grey Jedi robe. I cannot remember uh, if all... All my Jedi that I'm going to go ahead and leave equipped with robes have the robes, have the best robes that they can get. Um, and, and if the defense and bonuses are appropriate. So I might have to come back for that one. Although, it's going to cost one-fourth my on-hand credits. I'm not feeling too too good about that. Like... Yeah, the sword might be a little bit better. Uh, not quite the damage of the Gamoran Axe, but no penalty to attack. Matter of fact, a bonus to attack. And it gives a couple of bonus feats. So, like, Baradur, while he wouldn't be able to get as much damage out of it as he would the axe that he's currently holding, he's far more likely to hit, and it gives him a couple of feats that I don't have to worry about giving him later. Uh, the Transdosian Sword would be nice, but it's not upgradable. Uh, the Vibro Sword would be nice, and it's fully upgradable. That's a thought. That's not as good as the axe he's carrying, but it is fully upgradable, and it does some bonus damage. And... Oh! Oh, never mind. It costs twice what I have on hand. Okay, that's why it's so good. <clears throat> Uh, this blade here, not worth it. You can only upgrade the edge and the grip, and it does junk for damage. I might, I might buy this crystal, though, just so I can start upgrading another lightsaber. Because right now, I think mine's the only one that has any upgrades. And uh, I do have more Jedi than just me. And honestly, I, I don't even know that I'm going to worry about looking at any of the other stuff, except maybe uh, a consciousness helm. Defense bonus one, constitution a two. That's not bad. Uh, spacer sensor, decks, and a couple of bonus suites. That's not bad. But I mean, I'm not seeing anything that really makes me go, oh, that's what I want. Well, the power gauntlets, that, you know, strength plus three, that's nice, but that that's going to wipe out my bank account. Oh, a bump to attack when unarmed? Ooh. That's a... Th oh, never mind. I just saw the price. That's not a thought. That's not a thought at all. <laughs> okay. I, I, I broke down a bunch of cardio packages. They're not worth it anymore. I'm too far in the game for that. Uh, scopes and grips I can make and probably make a little bit cheaper. Same thing for the energy shielding. And I'm pretty sure for the edges. Um, yeah, no. So it looks like the only thing I'm going to worry about getting right this second before I forget is that crystal. Okay. Okay, shopping achieved. I'll have to find a uh, workbench to work on that a little bit later.
Uh oh. Cutscenes are almost never good. Ah, oh, it's a tame Canuck. Canuck. Sorry, not a Canuck. That's something different. Uh, okay. The title says tame, but you don't you don't look so tame. All right, let's talk to the beast rider. Wins to you, off world. <laughs> Is it too much to hope that you are a Talosian merchant? It is too much to hope. I am no merchant. The winds still taste of misfortune then. Our beasts will continue to wait in their cages. <laughs> Your beasts seem restless. They have been kept in their cages for a long time. But yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them. Frightening them. Perhaps it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark times. Isis. And tensions run Isis. high in the streets. Um. So. Who are you? I am a beast rider. I have flown great distances gathering the animals you see here. We keep mm -hmm. hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the Space Force's searches so that we can sell them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why does Telos want your beasts? That's a good question. Telos needs new ecosystems. Uh, okay. Efforts on the planet are to succeed. Ethor, Onderon, and Duxon are rich in food chains necessary to create new okay. life on Telos. Okay. No, that's fair. And sustain it. Although some of your terms are unknown to me, what you say is true. Telos was attacked by Darth Malak in the Jedi Civil War. Yeah. Oh, believe me, I know. The surface was completely. Destroyed. I've heard of. The authorities have been searching else. for appropriate wildlife to create a new Telos, but their merchants are stalled by the blockade. That'll be another death blow to Telos if no new ecosystems can be brought to the planet. The Ethorians are only part of the equation. Your friend is correct. Hey, seriously. Much harm is What's with the sarcasm on both there? Sides as long as the blockade is in effect. Uh... <laughs> Maybe. Alright, your bees seem restless. Why does Telos want your bees? Uh, Alright, tell me about the beast riders. Our people have been here for centuries. Though we were not always one with the wilds of Onderon. In ancient times, our people were criminals. Prisoners oh. who were cast out of Isis. So you're Australian. To die by the beasts in the wilds. But I mean, you got the big critters that are going to eat your face if you're not really careful. That they sounds very Australian to me. Companions. We fought endlessly with Isis for resources and survival. But two generations ago, an Isis princess named Galia and a great mm -hmm. beast rider hero, Oron Kira, married. They united our peoples. But now things are unraveling. Even the beasts can smell it in the air. Oh, I mean, you got enough beasts that I'm sure you're smelling something in the air. All right. How are things unraveling? Many beast riders have fallen to the city ways, and some are now no more than common thugs. Queen Talia and her cousin General Australia? Fox argue in open councils. The beasts <laughs> stir from the changes in the wind and cannot be calmed. And we beast riders find it harder to enter the city each day. And why is it hard to enter the no city? To leave the city without the oh, starport okay. Visas. So I need to come up with a couple of visas because it seems like uh, a money thing. All right. Uh, so I've already asked why Telus wants the bees. Your bees seems restless. Looks like my only out other option is to uh, be on my way. Dude, I wouldn't stretch with an axe like that. That seems, uh, that seems marginally dangerous. Uh, don't I have a, a calm, not master speed, master valor, breath control, heal. Oh. Thought I had some sort of tame beast power thingy. I guess it's only when we're in combat. What? Oh no! This can't Grant, be good. The bomba is out of control. Oh yes, the 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 dangerous carnivorous beast is out of control. Run! All right, stun it. 
Let's uh, bump everybody up with some valor. And then, uh, then we'll start hitting the flurries. Oh, that was quicker than I expected. I, I don't know what to say. Uh, that they sm you thought they smelled bad on the outside? They were fledgling riders, or simply tales that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. Ooh, um. <laughs> <laughs> what stories are you talking about? Did the beasts often do this? What happened? Thank you for the credits. They aren't necessary. Uh, let's start with questions. What stories are you talking about? More agitated by the day. The oh, okay, the okay. Never mind. We're, we're, we're getting back to that whole Winds of Change thing. No, I won't they sing the song from instincts. Winds of Change because... As, as you've just seen... Reasons. When they get that way, not even a skilled beast rider can control them. As soon as I leave here, I will talk with my family. There is much to be discussed. <laughs> you think a few credits are going to make this necessary? Uh, let's go with the... Thank you, but they aren't necessary. All right, I'll be going now. Uh, let's try to say they aren't Please necessary. keep them. It salves the shame my beast's behavior has brought me. <sighs> All right, fine. Oh, all right, so I got the credits and the light side points. That works. Hello, unconcerned citizens. I can't believe the Republic assaulted our space. General Vaclil is royalty, too. I know. Republic dissidents blew up an armory. With all the Republic vessels getting searched, the okay. beast bound for Telos keeps stacking out. The city smells like the back nope. end of a Gundar. Nest. Oh, easy. Uh, let's see that. No, that appears to be everything here. All right, let's talk to these two, and then we'll see. Halt, oh. Offworlder! You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? <laughs> All right. Uh, the Jedi Master's rumored to be here. I'm looking for him. The truth, but likely to cause trouble. I'm here to buy some goods. I'm a trader. Not true, and likely to cause some trouble. My business is my own, snarky, and likely to cause some trouble. I am sorely, sorely tempted to do the Force Persuade. I really am. But I'm never entirely clear when the Force Persuade is going to get you dark side points, and when the Force Persuade is okay. It, it, it seems to be a really weird way they draw those lines in the Knights of the Old Republic games, both of them. So let me try a normal persuade. Uh, could we skip the formalities? Uh, oh, why not? Okay. I can see you have no crates or cargo, and your ship is obviously not. Yes, I am definitely with the not affiliated You're with the Republic. Don't lose it is not a lightsaber visa, in my hands. I don't look like a Jedi. Way. Nobody's been hunting me down as a Jedi. Totally not a problem. Carry on. Move along. All right, I'm gonna push my luck. If I try to, you're already cleared to enter the merchant quarter. Oh. Now it disgusts me how many soldiers in <laughs> other commands are willing to put aside their sworn duty. The sworn we duty. Took an oath to protect and serve the queen faithfully. All right. Before we walk into the merchant quarters, we got okay. We got a quest about starport visas. Yeah, because. Yeah, they're definitely going to be a thing. All right, let me save the game real quick. Because you never know what's going to happen when you walk into a new place. And this is also where I'm going to insert one of those cuts that I warned you about at the top of the stream. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And 
If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.